Hey there, my name is Lindsay Swearingen. I'm a rising sophomore here at LaGrange and today I'm going to talk to you about my freshman year and how I had to adapt from high school life to college life. And I know I came in during a pandemic, but there are some fundamental things I guess you could say about my freshman year that could be applicable to you. So the first thing being, obviously, you're going to be living with someone else. This is my roommate's side and this is my side. So we share our space and one of the biggest things is you have to keep it clean so you have to stay organized, which I'm kind of a messy person when it comes to my room, so I had to learn how to stay organized. Also, another thing about living on your own is that you have to do your own chores and grocery shop and keep up with your stuff and, like I said, stay clean and organized. Um, so grocery shopping was a big thing for me because normally at home my parents would just have us make a big list and then one of them would go get it or I would go get it after school but there was just a long list and it was just here's what you need but now you have to think about what you need and with me my softball schedule we got quarantined a bunch of times so I was having to throw out a bunch of food earlier than I wanted to and then I had to think about well what kind of meals could I make in a microwave since we don't have a kitchen here um, another thing for me was remembering to eat at a reasonable time because if I'm just studying in the library all day, I will forget to eat. So at the beginning of the first semester, I had to set reminders to eat between like 11 and 1 for lunch and 5 and 7 for dinner, which when you have practices, you can just head to the cafe after practice and that's easy. But that was one of the big things for me. So just staying organized and clean and remembering to do basic chores that you may not have had to do at home. And remembering to eat because that's always good. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is the difference between a high school and a college schedule. Now for me, my high school was pretty tough. I was always busy. We were always told to take as many dual enrollment and AP credits as we could. So I was always taking those more challenging courses. On top of that, I played softball, soccer, and managed basketball and played travel softball in the summer. So I was busy year round. I was constantly doing something. Now, the thing that shocked me the most is I thought going from eight courses in high school to four to five courses in college, I was like, oh, that's like half the classes, I'll be fine. But in college, you have to put the same amount, if not more effort into each individual class because they go more in depth and some of them are more intense than any class I've ever taken, which is a good thing because you need to be challenged to learn and to grow towards your goals of whatever career you want to do. Personally, I'm an exercise science major, so I'm taking a lot of science courses, which oddly enough, I kind of struggle in the basic sciences. So for example, this past year, I've been taking chemistry. So I've had to put a lot of my time towards chemistry because it is totally different than high school chemistry. Yes, you're learning the same basic things, but we go more in depth into the tiny little atoms and ions or whatever you want to talk about than I thought you could because I was like, oh, they're tiny. We covered the basics in high school. There's nothing much more. There is a lot more. <laughs> um, another thing with the differences in schedules is my athletic schedule. So for me, I play softball here at LaGrange. So we're doing weights, workouts, practice year round. It's not just one season like high school. It's we start our weights in, and workouts in the fall. And then by the spring, we're having two, three, four hour practices each day with weights once or twice a week. So you stay in shape. Um, so having to manage your time is so important in college because I'm a huge procrastinator and I will wait till last minute for any project test assignment you give me and that is almost certain that I will procrastinate on it. Um, so you have to teach yourself how to study for the test that's a week away or start writing the paper that's due in a month or start the project that's due at the end of the semester because your time here is so valuable and you are always going to be busy even when you think you won't. The last thing I want to talk about has been the biggest difference for me personally is the athletic experience in college versus high school. So for me, I've been looked up to as a leader on my high school team since my freshman year. And I say that because I've been playing softball since I was five. And my high school team was small. There would be 14, 15 girls try out and all of them would make it because our high school was so small. We were a K through 12 private school with like 900 people in it. I graduated with 75 people. 
So me having experience on the softball team was something other people didn't have. And there were only three of us that actually played travel and wanted to go somewhere for college. So I had to not only be on varsity as a freshman, which is already scary enough, but people were looking up to me because I knew basic softball plays or basically I just had a better softball IQ because other people, this was their first or second season. So they're not gonna know everything about the game. So I had to go from that role of almost a player coach in high school to being, you know, bottom dog coming into LaGrange because here softball is everyone's life. They came here for softball. You're not going to want to pay however much for a private school if you're not enjoying your time and really want to be here. So everyone really wants to be here and play softball. And so I'm having to get used to supporting my teammates from the bench and be constantly cheering. I pinch ran a couple times this season, so being ready for that whenever my coach needed me to, which means you have to be paying attention to the game to know how many outs there are, how strong the catcher's arm is, stuff like that. Another thing I had to get used to is just the new team in general, which can be kind of stressful sometimes, especially getting used to a new coaching style and just the new personalities and the new teammates that you meet because I've met some of my best friends on the softball team. And at first I was pretty shy because in new social situations, I'm just kind of like, I'll see how this plays out, whatever. But the girls on my team have really brought out the best in me. And I know that's kind of cliche to say, but you will truly meet some of your best friends either on a sports team or in your sorority or in your hall. I've met some friends in my hall. I live in Hawks and it's just fun to have a movie night together. So just getting used to new friends, a new social situation and a new team was a big thing for me.